from Holland. Ali Gebre Selassie there on the start line for this 10,000 meters, which has been billed as a world record attempt. He's a man who has set three world records in this stadium in the last four years. He knows it well. The crowd know him well indeed. He's been given the freedom of the town of Hengelo. They call him Mr. Hengelo locally. They absolutely love him. And of course, this is the final event of a meeting which has given the spectators for this stage of the season a relative orgy of middle distance running. Some really marvellous performances. Now, Gebre Selassie here looking for the ultimate marvellous performance. A world record at the longest track race there is. 10,000 metres is his target. The world record of Paul Turg at the Kenyan set in Brussels last year on the 27th, 22nd of August. 26 minutes, 27.85. Now, for all intents and purposes, he needs to be lapping in an average of around 63 seconds for no less than 25 laps to uh, hit that record. He set a world record on this track back in 1994 of 5,000. 5,000 meters. Then in the following year, he set a world record for 10,000, 26.43. He's run six times faster than that now. And uh, then, of course, last year he set a world best for two miles, 8.0108, which has uh, been broken by Daniel Komen now. Indeed, he doesn't have a 5,000 or a 10,000 or a two-mile world record. It still stands, Gebre Salasi, but he's all set for changing that. Pacemakers here, his compatriots, of course, wearing 13 is uh, Waraku Bikila, himself no slouch, has a best of 27.06 for this distance. He will keep going for as long as he can here, but there's three of them there, and you can be sure that each of them will have been briefed very, very thoroughly on what their role is in this job at hand by your sermons. And it is a job too. Very, very professionally approached business when it comes to world record setting. 17 there, Milan Walde. 39, the youngster, Asif Abnazagebu, who won the uh, 10,000 at this track last year. Indeed, is still his personal best, 27.25. He outsprinted Britain's John Brown in that one. Brown yet to venture onto the track. We join it now. Around halfway. The athletes have half a lap to go before they reach the 5,000 metre point. Gabriel Salassi being led here by uh, Mr. Gabo, who is in very good shape himself, has a 13 11 5,000 to his name this year. He's been running very, very steadily, 2.35 at one kilometre, 5.15 at two kilometres. That was already four and a half seconds inside Paul Turgat's world record figures. 7.53 at 3,000 metres. Turgat ran 7.59. He was over six seconds inside Turgat's world record at 3,000. 4,000 metres was made in 10.30 and 5,000 now in 13.11.53. Turgat's equivalent figure, 13.17.46, so he's uh, almost six seconds inside Turgat's world record pace at 5,000 metres. We join Gebre Selassie now in the latter stages of this 10,000. He's lapped most of the field, 24.15 on the clock, the figure he's chasing, remember, 26, 27, point eight five. He has two laps to go now. 800 meters to run for Haile Gebre Salati. Well within the world record schedule of 5,000. He was six seconds inside it at 5,000. This is a man with his own supporters club now, granted the freedom of the local town. Three of his 10 world records have been set in this stadium. This crowd on their feet now, this capacity crowd. Remember, he set a world record for 2,000 metres indoors last winter at Birmingham at the National Indoor Arena in the UK. Just to confirm that he was wintering well, avoided the World Cross Country Championship specifically to prepare for the outdoor season. And it looks to be working because he's still well inside the world record schedule. Some four or five seconds inside it at the moment as he comes up to lap this group. Wearing three there, Philip Kemai of Kenya. Well, on one night last August in Brussels, he lost his world records at 5,000 and 10,000 co-men and target respectively. Is he about to claw back at least one of them? 25, 23, 24, 25 there as he goes through the bell. 
he needs a last lap here of around 50, of around 62 seconds. I would have thought that is well within his capability. Don't let's forget this is the man who has run 331 for 1500 metres indoors. Gabriel Salati pouring it on down the back straight, grimacing hard now. Very, very seldom do you see that. He's such a tough competitor that normally gives very little way during his races facially. Very cheerful, bubbly, happy-go-lucky man off the track. Terribly serious on it. But here he is coming around the final bend. The crowd surely aware that a world record is in the making here. 26.08, 26.09. He can see the finish line now. That world record he's heading for, 26.27 by Turgat. That lifted three seconds off Gebris Lassie's world record. And I think he's about to snatch it back. Gebris Lassie at the line, 26.22.77. Has just lopped over five seconds off the world record of Paul Turgat. He's got it back. Goodness me, again and again and again this man is able to produce just a little bit more as and when it's required. Set his first 10,000 metres world record back in 1995 in this stadium. Improved the 10,000 metres world record last year in Oslo, only to see it go some uh, six or seven weeks later in Brussels. And well, it hasn't even survived the beginning of the summer, really, has it? The mark of Turgat, who I'm sure will be inspired and fired up by seeing this run. Highly Gebris Lassi has taken back his world 10,000 metres record. That's the news from this meeting. His time, 26.22.75. The place is behind him, almost an irrelevance, although Chifar takes second, 27.29. And Tola, both of them Ethiopian, taking third, 27.32. Yet again, Hengelo has worked its magic. Worked its magic. Jos Hermans deserves so much credit for coaching this man and managing him to one peak performance after another. And don't let's forget, you've seen it here on the Eurosport. World record behind the Gebris Lassie. It's been a good meeting though. A series of world bests from Wazir's at 3,000 in the women's race at 8.30. Kit Peter, 7.36 in the men's 3,000. Barmaside, 8.11 in the steeplechase. El Garouge, 3.31. It's been a good meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye-bye from me, Tim Hutchings.